So going through this, how do you balance out the market and ministry? Right, because 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 I know I know now where you are in your in, in your faith walk, and I know we've talked about this many times before. Is just how you have now really been lit ablaze in your faith journey. So you being an entrepreneur through and through, and now you also being lit ablaze in your ministry aspect or in your faith walk. How do you balance the two? First thing you got to do is unlearn a lot of things that's been taught to us in churches and in, about ministry, uh, you know, all about money. Unfortunately, we've had some real negative teachings about money. When Jesus uh, got his disciples, I believe all of them was businessmen. Mm, all of them were entrepreneurs. All of them was entrepreneurs, mm -hmm, fishers, mm -hmm. tax collectors. You know, they were they were doing something. Carpenters, they they they, they were they were they were doctors. They, were because I think Luke, Luke was, was a doctor. doctor. Yeah, yeah. uh huh, yeah, yeah, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. They're all businessmen. So first off, accept the fact that it's okay to be a businessman and a ministry man. Mm. Okay. So when I went to law school, I put the rest that it's okay to be a lawyer and a minister. I had to really wrestle through that one. Some people say, "How can you be a lawyer and a preacher?" They was like, "Those just that, that's all in water. It's not gonna mix." Well, I worked through that thing, you know, because I, I got clear that you can be, and it's not my job as a lawyer to determine whether a, a defendant did or didn't do a crime. Mm, you're not the judge. I'm not the judge. I'm mm. the lawyer. My job is to find every right that the law provides my client. Okay, and so when I stay in my lane and do what I'm supposed to do as a lawyer, then I can do that without running afoul to what the word of God says. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So so I'm not the judge. So now when it comes to entrepreneurship and business, as opposed to in marketplace ministry, I realize that the two go hand in hand. The two go hand in hand. The more effective and the more successful I am as an entrepreneur the more credibility I bring to my ministry. And mm -hmm. one of the things that has rent run a lot of people away from ministry is that we ministry has been presented as a handout. We, we always wanted people to just give to the ministry, give to the ministry. And I believe in giving to the ministry. I believe in the tithe and, and so forth. Matter of fact, I believe in the 90, 10 tithe. OK, give 90 to the church and live off the 10. But but oftentimes we've 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 had a bad mindset around that. And people have taken a negative approach to it because the ministry has always come across as give, give, give to the ministry. And we've spoken down on entrepreneurship. But I've realized that that's backwards. So I see entrepreneurship as the gateway of ministry. As a matter of fact, my life mission is to know Christ and to make him known through, entre through coaching and entrepreneurial evangelism.